Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to another video, and this time we're taking a little deviation from Omnisphere. We're going to the world of contact, and more specifically, damage uncharted 88 by Heaviosity. Full disclosure before we start, I've been sent this uh, sample library to do a review, but the reviews you hear in this video are totally my own. They're not paying me to say anything. Uh, if I say it's good, it's good. If I say it's not, it's not. It's just totally what, uh, what I feel of this library. Bit of a sort of like spoiler alert. I find this uh, this whole library absolutely fantastic. Sound designer's dream. Um, what is Uncharted 88, first of all? Well, what they've done is taken a piano and treated it like a prepared piano and got some wonderful percussion uh, bangs, transition effects, absolutely brilliant. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to break this down into sort of like a couple of sections of this video. The first one, I'm going to go through the three modules you have. Then we're going to play some presets from each module. And then following that, we'll go take a deeper dive into the interface. Uh, I'll sort of bookmark each chapter so you can scoot along the timeline. If you get bored of the presets, you can move on, etc. Um, so before we start, though, if you do enjoy this video and enjoy the stuff you hear on this channel, please subscribe, give the videos a thumbs up, comment below, and uh, without further ado, we'll move on. So we've got the first module which I've loaded up, which is the ensemble design. All you actually need to do to load these modules is literally click and drag and it'll load the module. So what this is, um, this it provides both a menu and performance style preset options. And these little keyboards down here from C to B represent down here uh, the actual keys that will trigger the samples. So if I play C2, so you get a feel of how this actually works. And then we've got Kit Designer. Now, Kit Designer, just load that up, uh, allows you to build your own little kit here. And if you've got an MPC or um, one of those machine from uh, gadgets from Native Instruments, you can use your pads um, and they'll be automatically mapped to C1, C sharp, 1D, 1, etc. Uh, if you don't have, then you can, as you can see down here, your keys are highlighted. So you can actually use these instead. And if I say that's it. And then we have Loop Designer. Now, Loop Designer pretty much says what it does on the tin. You get 288 tempo sync loops covering organic, hybrid, and experimental son sonic timbres in uh, both straight and triplet meters. So basically, uh, we have it all mapped across the keyboard. Now, if this first half here, I'm moving my mouse on now, if I can get it to enlarge. No, it's not going to do it for me. On a Mac, if you Back, there you go, you see that there, this red bit at the bottom, that relates to this range of keys. The blue bit relates to C2, that's C3, that's C4, and you've got C5 up here. So what happens here, sorry C5 all the way up here, it's better if I just show you what happens here. So if I hold down C, C1 is this. Plays a loop in full. If I just play C2, it just plays that one loop. And any key basically that's not in the blue zone will play that loop in isolation. So that's a quick overview of what each module actually provides. I'm going to play some presets. I'll go back to Ensemble Designer and we'll just go to. Uh, Let's go sweeping horrors. So these are literally one hits. You got iron strikes, iron, sorry, iron hammers. Let's 
go for string strikes. So these would be great for sort of soundtracks, um, sort of single hits that you're actually after in, in your tracks. And that's a great transition for an ambient track, that. Nip over to Kit Designer. And we'll just load up, say, the Survivalist. notice these are all velocity sensitive so the softer I hit the keys the quieter the sound. Harder I hit the louder it is. And we have let's say string scapes. designer now. We'll just go to straights because what happens is your menu is actually built into, uh, it's broken down into a straight sound so that's like very regular on the beat and triplets uh, which is between the beats so when I mean that on the beat you get one two three four triplets it's one and a two and a three and a four and a so it's just different type of rhythm. Now what you can do with this is these bottom sections here relate to this, like I said before, it introduces a stutter effect. We can have 8th, 16th, 32 or 64. Now what you can do as well with these, instead of having a straight stutter, you can change it into a triplet stutter, so you get this effect. Now also, what's not linked to these um, loops here is your transitions, which is your far end of the keyboard. So you've got a whole octave of different loops here. So what you, if you play an E at the bottom end, you're going to play the note E on whatever sample or loop is on that note in the following octaves. And then you can just add some transitions. Uncharted hybrid experiments. Before you actually ask, yes, you can actually layer these loops if you want. So what I'm saying there here is if I hold a C note down and then I want to add another line, just hold the G note. And then if you could actually hold a whole chord of C. And it'll all be tempo sync. And then you can start adding wonderful effects in. So the stutter will happen wherever this line is going across. See what I mean? Uh, 
let's do let's do a triplet. I haven't done a triplet yet. Uh, go break axe by mental loops triplets. See what I mean? What I said at the beginning, triple loops. So the, the rhythm is one under, one under, one under. Why my heart? That's a quick whistle stop tour through the some of the patches that we've got. Now I'm going to go back to Ensemble Designer here because we need to now sort of like go into the interface itself because it's all right just playing with these presets that you get and these uh, called snapshots. So it's easy to play with those, but to make the sounds truly your own, is sort of edit what you've got. So what we'll do to edit these things is, first of all, we've got this thing called stage. So let's, let's just, just change it to a something that really sticks out. Um, iron combo ambient. No, nope. oh, there we go, that's one after. Now you see, you've got this stage here. So you think you're in an auditorium, you're looking at a stage. This represents where the actual players are. So all your little circles represent where the actual kit is for that particular key. And as long as your stage is engaged, that is, the light is on there, because if I, I turn it off, I can't, and it, it still works, but I can't do anything with the stage. But if I engage it, I can move people to the back for more ambienty roomy feel or to the front so they're sort of like close in your face and, and the sound stage is per key see see how they change so you can actually have a sound stage for each different sample on the key. The beauty of this though is you can actually go in and change your change this. So if I want that player, let's go, that's more pronounced. If I want that player, not there, but somewhere else on the stage, if you're listening on stereo speakers or on headphones, listen to what happens when I move this. really cool eh? you can actually then have that wherever you want on the sound stage that particular sample absolutely fantastic um, and you also then can per sample change the sound of that drum so if i want that one real boomy but i want that one more high pitched I can, and it doesn't affect any other keys, which is really cool. So I can have that one at the back. Or if I want to, put that one at the front, and this one right boomy centre back. How cool is that? That's absolutely fantastic. And then what you can actually do on top of that is if you go to source, you can load any of these samples onto any of these keys here. So if I want to say on that note here, I want to load a different sample. I don't want that sample. I want um, a transition. Let's go for a transition. So I want an iron reverse 4B. So I'll just actually grab, drop it, 
And there we go. And the beauty of it is, it doesn't remember the last setting you had on that drum if you've changed it. So if I change this, see it sends it back to reset. So you you don't inadvertently change the actual original sound so you can actually get the full feel of what it is. And if I want, um, I don't, I can just press it on the, the keyboard if I want to select the key, or I can just use my mouse and say I want it on zone three, say. So that's that key there. So zone three, got a rocket rod iron at the moment, but I want to put a silo test. So the beauty of this is when you hit the key on the keyboard, it actually lights for you. And your black notes can also be used. You're not just uh, limited to your white notes. So you can build your own kit and save it, which is absolutely fantastic. We then have the settings section. You have this global uh, effects and per drum effects. So the, your global get the round robin. So that means no two hits sound the same when you play it sequentially. Um, and if you want to, you can have, I'll use this note, you can actually have these effects here, crescendo, swell, flam, roll and repeat, on a per drum basis. All you need to do is engage the performance. Now if I press the key now, but it doesn't affect any other notes, which is absolutely brilliant. So you can have a per drum change in the whole thing. And if you want to then, you've got a master effects section, uh, which is very simple. You can have a filter, punish, EQ, and then you can just drag and drop in which order you want these. And as you select them, each one has its own control. Now these are global, these will affect the whole sound. And then you've got the famous punish. That's gentle. And then you've got this uh, hurt me plenty is uh, a little bit more vicious. Oh, maybe on max. And nightmare. Now what you can do, if you've got uh, a mod wheel on your controller, is if you right click on this and say learn MIDI CC automation and then move your mod wheel, it will remember it. So you can actually control it more subtly. <clears throat> so that is what you can do in the Ensemble Designer. We now have the Kit Designer which is very, very similar uh, in that sense, since you have samples on a per pad basis here. So if you've got, a, like I said earlier, uh, one of those MPC type things um, or a, a native instruments machine, you can play the pads. Now this gives you a little bit more control and in, in some respects, on ensemble designer on in the kit design you don't have the stage but you do have the ability to control the level volumes you can see here and you still get the uh, wonderful ability to put a per effect as in get the sample and affect just that sample without affecting any other. So if I want, say, I want to put reverb on this, all I need to do is click on that drop down, choose reverb, and I've not affected any of the other samples. You can then go into your source and you can literally 
choose any of these and I'll say I want string stab and I want to put it on C2. And you can build your own kit then, which is absolutely brilliant. And if you put auto on, it means you can actually hear this before you drag and drop it into your um, bay over here. And then you've got your settings for even more control of your per pad sound. You can actually detune it in here. So you've got two octaves, down or up. And you can alter the velocity sensitivity. So if I turn that down, it'll be always full. If I turn it up, depends on how hard I hit it, then you can change the attack of the key. So it's more of a brush than a, than a strike. You can also change the MIDI note there if you wish to. So if you want to, use a different uh, note if you're using a keyboard, control the keyboard, you restrict it to this blue zone here, uh, or your pads. I think you restrict to that blue zone, let's just have a try. So if I, oh no, you can use the whole keyboard. So you could actually map out any key to any note on your keyboard if you so wish. All you need to do is move this MIDI note here. So, and you can choke it. We put a round robin on. So no two hits are the same really in, in when you play it sequentially. Then you have the master effects again, which is exactly the same as what you get for the ensemble designer. Pick and choose the order you want them. All you need to do is ensure that this little light above it is on, which will mean that effect is actually on. So we'll just have a quick look at the loop designer now this I really 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 like basically it plays the loops for you of what whatever they've sampled so what I'm getting at here is and what it and what it is it's linked so if I play a C in this zone here it will play a C in the other zones Kind of here, C2, C3, C4. But if you don't want all that and you just want one of those loop, part of that loop, because you've got essentially a couple of parts to the loop here. I only want part one of that loop. Right, okay. And then I want I want this note instead. So I want to play what's on the D note rather than the flat. And then I want to play the note what's on the C. So you can mix and match your own loops. And oh, they're all tempo synced. And they all start on the beat, which is absolutely brilliant. So you also have the ability to put some transitions in. Oops, wrong hand to the keyboard. And then you can bring in your stutters. Now the stutters are only on the white notes. You, you black notes don't do anything down this end. Um, what you can do then with the source, you can then also, this is, this is where it gets absolutely crazy. You can then load up like you can do in the other two modules the loops from any bank onto those keys. So you've got uh, 12 keys there, 12 there and 12 here. You've got, a f you can set up a whole gazillion loads of loops on this, save it as your own. It's amazing what you can do. And if you put it on, if you put auto on, you hear the loop before, should do, come on. That's interesting. Why is it not playing? It should play. Not 
sure why it's not playing it because it did in the other in the other should automatically play the loop it might be something i've done there ah because i'm not in the loop i'm in the bank that's why so that's a little tip um my mistake that i just realized what's highlighting means i'm in the bank uh, so you go into hybrid string strings full so if that's your bank then you click on your loop and in there is your loop so if that's on auto now we'll have it and from there you can hear so i want that i got that onto my note and i have that sample playing underneath but the other samples aren't affected and that's a sample I've just loaded onto that key and that's in contact with the others and now we have these send effects so you, again you've got your FX modulation up here but what you can do also if I do um, FX master on a tempo delay um, I've got the distortion if I turn that on Oops, I need to turn it and that turns it up so, so you can increase the intensity of that effect because it's a send effect by moving this dial and what's absolutely fantastic about this okay if you open this mod where it says open so if I say hi mod if you click on open mod you can program like a, a sequence pattern in for how that knob's going to move what I mean by that is if I say turn this on see it's lit up now now if I play this it will follow this sequence where the it won't be on and when it it will gradually open up the knob and along with that the effects and then you can change it if you want to uh, so you can do ramps and you can change it into triplets all straights and then we've got the performance of legato re-triggers so you've got a whole veritable host of ways to manipulate your sound so you, your loops can sound truly unique by the time you've finished uh, and then you finally have the master effects section which is the same as what you saw in the other two modules so i won't bore you to death on how that works except we'll just remind you of the little tipper i gave you before which is if you right click and say learn midi cc automation and move your mod wheel or any other control on the keyboard you wish uh, that is sort of on a wheel basis or a knob basis you can then do a finer control of your punish which is absolutely fantastic so this has been a little sort of whistle stop overview tour of damage uncharted 88 by heaviosity I thoroughly enjoy playing with this library. It's going to feature on quite a lot of my music going forward. So thank you to the guys over at Heavosity for sending me a copy to have a look through and review for you. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, if there's anything you would like to know about Uncharted 88 that I haven't covered, then please, please, please put a comment below and I will certainly endeavour to try and answer that for you. Uh, remember to subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, ding that bell and I will catch you in the next video. Until then.